take on the Houston Rockets from the Toyota Center here in downtown Houston. That means one thing. It means Shaquille O'Neal for the fifth time going up against the future big star of the NBA in Yao Ming. Yao's Rockets have won three of the first four meetings when the two have played. Shaq missed two for injury last night. Nice double team, Kelvin Cato. You gotta keep him on the inside. To O'Neal, the dunk, the foul. And he has uh, rocked the rack as much as we've seen Shaq do it all year. There's focus and there is energy from 34 in purple and gold. Shaq is an incredibly proud competitor out here. Kobe Bryant able to elude the double team really Three players for the Rockets. There's one thing we rarely see is having to double team down on the man that Shaq is guarding. Uh, how often have you seen that? Almost never. Shaq made a, a strong emphatic point about that in the media this week. Gary Payton hits the outside jumper. Gary, who raised the issue earlier this week about uh, playing time, comfort with the triangle, and he's not really happy with his role, but it looks like things have been sorted out between he and Coach Phil Jackson. The three from Peyton beats the clock, and the Lakers extend to a four-point lead. Kobe has three assists already. He doesn't necessarily have to do it in the scoring category. He's getting everybody involved. And the rebound for Bron. That game three weeks ago, that was the best game of the season for the Houston Rockets. Have they been able to capitalize that? and recreated. I don't think so. Right now, it's all Lakers. Slava Medvedenko hits the jumper. Fourth-year man out of the Ukraine. Jeff Van Gundy's team, 34 and 25 in a crucial stretch in their season with 9 of 10 here in the Toyota Center. Toby left alone as he got free. Well, he has four assists already tonight. So everybody was expecting another dish. Instead, Bryant hits his first field goal. Five to shoot off a Yao screen. For this by Francis is rebounded by Kobe. Right now, Shaq flash to the lane, get in deep. Bryan gets it to him. There goes O'Neal to the basket with the right hand. <laughs> That's power and finesse. Beautiful balance in that move. Oh, so no Shaq, middle free. Kobe takes it to the goal. Lakers lead by one. Sean, this is a situation now where Kobe was feeding Shaq. You could sense the energy, and it's what we've seen from the Lakers since the break. They're working so well together. Now that O'Neal's on the bench with two, you could sense right away a different level of Kobe's focus. <laughs> Kobe in the lane <laughs> gets it to drop. He was working on that lefty shot two hours before the game. You take a look at Kobe Bryant. He's facing Catino Mobley. Catino Mobley basically had his way back here on February 11th. It was the Lakers' last game before the All-Star break. It was Kobe's first game back after he had sliced his finger. Well, in that game, Catino Mobley had 21 points, 10 of 6, 6 rebounds. Kobe had just 14 points. Tonight, Kobe says it's a bit of a personal challenge to him. He was given a tape by Phil Jackson just after the All-Star break when they had their meeting. Phil told him, I want you to look at this tape and examine it. Phil's most interested in Kobe's defense that night. He said since that time, Kobe's defense has improved tremendously. He wanted him to be better, and he has stepped it up, and that all points of his game since that meeting and since the All-Star break have been superb. Mike? And the point total is a 40, 35, 35 stretch. You saw the numbers, the split. He'll be playing very well. Gary Payton. Both teams playing very well. Lakers shooting 69% from the floor. Houston in the high 50s himself. And there's only one turnover in the entire game. The feed to Medvedenko. Give Kobe a seventh assist here in the first 10 minutes. Nice. Lakers look extremely sharp, and the Rockets very lucky to even be this close. I tell you who looks sharp. Kobe Bryant mm -hmm. just trying again, getting everybody involved. He's trying, trying to build a triple-double from the inside out. Kobe got the first step. Draws some defense. Russell hits that shot. That's the one Kobe Bryant wanted him to hit last time down the floor when he was in the block area. But again, he's getting everybody involved. Nice penetration. Sucks in that defense, and he's finding his teammates on the perimeter. Kobe on the move. <laughs> Flying across. Across the lane, Yao has hit six of his last seven shots. Meantime, Ryan, who has eight, but also eight assists, dumped it down to Shaq. Kobe catches and takes it up over Mobley to get to ten points to go with nine assists and five rebounds. You know, if the Lakers are going to win this ball game, Kobe Bryant's going to have to save the day for it. They go to Shaq off the window. <laughs> O'Neal now has 15. He's 7 of 10 from the field tonight. I just think if he was hitting his free throws, he'd have a 20 point night going as well. But Coach Sloan used to always tell me uh, injuries is a part of professional sports and sports in general. 
I just never thought it would happen to me. But uh, if I would have woke up one day and my body let me down, I probably would have retired. But because of the injury I had, a freak uh, accident or whatever, I can, uh, I can take it a little bit better than that. That's a terrible by Piankowski, a great shooter when his feet are set. Lakers can make it three or two in the hands of Kobe. They can roll Shaq, they cover that. Fisher a three. Lakers within two. And Van Gundy takes another timeout. They come to Kobe, leaving Walton free for another three. And he knocks it down. Huge, huge shot. He had a man running at him. I believe it was Kelvin Cato. And you have to get the ball up to get the, the shot over those long arms. Yeah, the ball movement for Los Angeles really picking up now. Back to Yao. Hasn't shot for a while. He has 31 points. Spins on O'Neal. Got him in the air. And gets to the free throw line. Yao has 33. It is his third best scoring game at 41 in the triple overtime game against Atlanta. 37 at Orlando earlier this year. No reset on the clock, and it's Kobe for three. Ned Patenko is everywhere. Yes, he is. They're battling. Shaq's foot took it away, and the dunk. Timeout called by Houston. Some of the Rocket fans looking for the kickball, but it was dribbled right down on the foot of O'Neal, able to scoop it and stuff it. This is at Medvedenko, got it to go! Well, if the Lakers are upset about that call, it's even. Because yes. they got a break on the other end. Here's Gary, not really in the flow the last few minutes. He'll have to take a big three, and make a big three! He's a gamer. That's what he complained about, that he wasn't in the game late in the fourth to get in the stretch to get warm to take a big shot. And with Casino Mobley having missed his last eight shots, really tough times for the Rockets offense. Shaq there to meet Yao. Fans wanted the foul. Francis dribbling a lot, in trouble. He's got it back. There's five to shoot, and Medvedenko fouled him at midcourt. There are about 25 fouls on that possession. Lakers by one. Walton takes it. Couldn't find anybody to pass as he got in the air. Mobley comes away with the turnover. Jim Jackson for two. Houston takes the lead. Timeout, Lakers. Walton, Brian O'Neal, Fisher, and Peyton the five on the floor for L.A. They could go two for one. Kobe up top taking. Making. And the Lakers retake the lead. Houston calls for time. Wow. <laughs> wow, we. I think if you ask most players in this league who they want to take the last shot, they would say Kobe Bryant. I don't care what he's done the rest of the ball game. This is a fadeaway over seven foot six Yao Ming, and he hits the bottom. Which is why your defensive mindset as a defender on that step out is turn him back the other direction. Don't let him continue his momentum. Houston trailing by one. They try to get it to Yao. He's well away from the hoop on Shaq. Gets it to Francis. Tough catch. Back to Yao. He's got the range. He missed the shot. And the rebound unable to be squeezed by Francis, who's called for the loose ball foul. Big shot here. The Lakers lead by three. It must be a Houston three to tie it. No timeouts. Look for Jim Jackson or Mobley off screens. Here's Francis. He's looking. He gets it to Mobley. He's going to have to hoist the three. In and out. And the Lakers win in Houston. Yao's number's better. Shaq's team heads back to L.A. with another victory. They're seventh in their last nine. Shaquille O'Neal chasing everybody down in the perimeter, almost a situation where you want to grab and foul. This is the fifth best three-point shooter in the entire league. The injury in the first half really affected Katino Mobley's ability to deliver points in the second. Here's Jim with Kobe Bryant. 18 points for Kobe Bryant. Kobe, seven for 19. How did you have the guts and the confidence to put up the game-winning shot? Oh, uh, you know, it was just a matter of time. I mean, my shot was there, it was just falling a little short. But I had all the confidence in the world that I was going to knock down the shot. Mentally, how have you been able to balance all of this based on what you've had to go through and then come out here? And you've done this a couple of times now this season. I just come out and play basketball. You know, I've been playing this game since I was three. And it's just so much fun to get out here and play and, uh, and compete. How much of a personal challenge was it for you after the February 11th game when Katino Mobley had a big game and you basically had just come back for your first game after your finger? I was looking forward to this one. 
What do you say about Yao Ming and, and the progress that this guy has made and, and how they compete and, and what do you think their future is? The future is very bright. You know, Van Gundy has come here and done an excellent job and uh, Yao continues to work hard, continues to improve. You know, he's becoming a very good player. Kobe, congratulations. Thanks for your time. Thank you. All right. Back to you, Mike. Jim, thanks. Kobe had a season high 13 assists to go with 18 points. Yao scored 33. Shaq had 28. The point advantage to Yao. The game to LA, 96 to 93, as they head back home.